Hello friends, welcome back to my channel you guys. We are starting off the day with coffee. I feel like I finally found a recipe that I absolutely love. I learned this recipe from a creator on TikTok. I will go ahead and link her TikTok channel down below for you guys. We are going to pop this into the Nespresso machine in my pantry. This is the one that she uses. I only do one thing that's like a little bit different than her because I like my coffee a little bit sweeter. I just add this Tarani vanilla syrup inside. I have my little coffee station here. This is my coffee and tea station. I feel like we need to like reorganize this though. So let me open this up. Awesome. Now we're gonna turn it on and wait for that to come out. While we're waiting for the coffee to get rolling, I don't know if you guys remember, but last month, Carlos Michelle and I went to Vegas and we went to the Museum of Illusions. Oh my goodness, you guys. It was so much fun. It was actually my first time going to a museum filled with so many activities. It was so cool. I've always wanted to go to one. I've seen them like all over social media. I absolutely love things that are like surrounded by illusions. I think it's very, very interesting interesting and they have a way of like playing with your mind and I find that to be so fascinating. But if you guys ever go to Vegas, I highly, highly recommend going to the Museum of Illusions. They have a bunch of fascinating holograms and then they had a bunch of rooms filled with different illusions. It was literally playing mind tricks on me. I felt like when I entered there, there were so many different attractions inside that I just wanted to stay there longer. It was so much fun. Everything was kind of just playing with my mind. There were like puzzles. You were trying to like figure out how things worked. Also great opportunity for like Instagram worthy photos. If you guys love taking content, oh my gosh, you guys. And I feel like this is such a fun way to hang out with your family. If you guys wanna go on a, like a date night with your significant other, if you wanna go on an outing with friends, or if you even wanna bring your kids. I saw a lot of kids there, a lot of families. There was this room where Michelle and I walked in and the room was designed where like, if one person stood on one end and I stood on like the other end, like Michelle, looked way taller than I am and I look like itty bitty and it looked like she was like trying to save me and what I loved about it is like in front of that room there was an opening and they literally put an iPhone stand there so you can like record all types of content or you can just capture it for memory which I loved and then there was also a room next to it and it was literally covered in mirrors which was so much fun you walked in and you kind of felt like it was just you and it just went on and on and on I think one of the last attractions in the museum that that played crazy tricks in our heads was there was this room and it was completely black, but it was filled with neon colors and the room was like a tunnel. So like when you walk in, it was like a tunnel and the thing was like spinning and spinning and there was a bridge. So your purpose was to like walk on the bridge to the other side as the tunnel was spinning. And you guys, I felt like my whole body was spinning. But if you guys are looking for something fun to do in Vegas with your friends, your family, your significant other, whoever it may be, you can even go yourself. Such a fun place. I feel like if you guys have kids, I highly, highly recommend taking them. They are going to love it. I will have the link in the description bar for you guys. Make sure you check out the Museum of Illusions in Las Vegas. Click on the link, buy your tickets. There are different times, different days, and it is so much fun. Please, please, please take all the pictures and post online and share them with me. I would love to see it. And I hope you have the best time. I'm so, so grateful that I got an opportunity to go to the museum. And I highly, highly recommend it to you guys. And thank you so much to the Museum of Illusions in Las Vegas for sponsoring this portion of the video. Oh my gosh, I have been loving these. These are actually jars. They're kind of like mason jars. So they came with like a cap and you could like lock it. It's basically like a container that you can keep food in. But these are so cute that I've noticed a lot of people have been using them for coffee cups or using them as just like cups in general to drink out of. I feel like I've been talking about this a lot, but I love it so much. And this is two tablespoons that I have in here. It measures two tablespoons perfectly. And I'm going to put the powder in this one so I can mix easily. Oh my God, it smells like Christmas. It smells so good. We have our coffee ready. We're gonna pour that in. I'm going to take my oat milk. This is Planet Oat, oat Milk. It's like a barista lover. A lot of people use this to make coffee. That should be perfect. And this recipe is so darn easy. I'm gonna go ahead and put some caramel. I'm a caramel girl. I love caramel. Look how beautiful this looks already. I have my crushed nugget ice. Ooh. And it fits perfectly. Look how beautiful that is, friends. Mmm, so good. I 
I may seem like I have a lot of energy right now, but I got zero sleep last night. Your girl was so excited, but also very anxious because I wanna make sure that the next three days goes perfectly for Michelle. It is officially my best friend's 30th birthday. I cannot believe it, you guys. First of all, I can't believe that we're in our 30s. We met when Michelle was 19 and I was 20. So it's really crazy, but also very exciting that we're both in this new chapter. It's a new decade. Everything just feels so different and so amazing. It's really hard for me to explain like how it feels to be 30. I feel like if you guys are in your 30s, you know, it's like you wake up one day and something just like changes in your mind like things that you cared about you no longer really care about you change a lot of like your perspective on things but anyways 30th birthday huge deal I've had today tomorrow and Friday planned for the last few months and I'm really really excited we are surprising Michelle with a trip to Disneyland oh my gosh I'm actually so excited but if you guys watch the vlogs then you know how I feel about Disneyland love Disney like grew up on Disney like hardcore or obsessed with Disney, just not so much Disneyland because I'm not a good like person when there's like a lot of crowds around me, I get very anxious. And then as you guys know, Disneyland is an amusement park. So there are big crowds, the lines are really long. There's just like people and activities and sounds and things everywhere. In my late twenties, I kind of started getting really anxious with things like that. So I've been avoiding Disney for the last eight years. I think the last time I went to Disneyland was with Michelle. I know how much she loves Disneyland. It's probably one of her favorite places in the entire world. And so I wanted to do something that was not only fun, but also very meaningful. And I think that we're gonna make some great memories today. I'm actually really excited. I feel really safe when I'm with Michelle. She's my best friend. I just feel really safe going with her. So I think today will be fine. I'm not gonna think about it too much. I think it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna eat a lot of great things. We're gonna go on great rides and it's a magical place. If you guys have ever been to Disneyland or Disney World, you guys know. I think we both decided on minimal makeup. So one thing about Michelle and I is we are, is? One thing about Michelle and I is, is, right? Oh my God, I need to wake up. My English is great, can't you tell? But one thing about us, is that we are type A people. We're very organized, we're on time, we plan ahead. We literally have probably the next two months already planned out and it's amazing, but that's just who we are. So when it comes to our birthdays, we do itineraries for each other. So we'll like send each other, you know, like what time we need to be ready by. We'll tell each other like, what's the aesthetic? Like what should we be wearing? I believe I told her to keep today very casual, comfy. I don't think she has any idea that we're we're going to Disneyland today. There is no way that this girl knows. I feel like she has no idea. Hopefully she doesn't. I literally just wrote like casual cute. I feel like my feet are gonna give out on me. We're definitely gonna hit 10,000 steps today. And I feel like by the time we get home, we're gonna have like jello as legs. This is so cool, you guys. This waiver, got it off the TikTok shop. Wow, I don't like this look. I think I like it over here more. Wow, you guys, it's pretty cool. I think I'm obsessed with this hairstyle. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, if my hair was like a little bit longer, I would be obsessed with this. Wow, the waver made me look like I have a lot of hair. This is crazy, you guys. And that was so easy to do. And you know what I love about it is that it beeps. I know it's like the little, like the smallest thing, but it's a nice reminder when you're doing your hair. See, when it beeps, then it's done. 
Is that cool? Okay, I tied both sides up like this. I was gonna do some like mini mouse ears. It's like a huge thing when you go to Disneyland, like everyone has like mini mouse ears. And I was gonna do that, but I remember the last time we went, Michelle and I didn't want to hold our headbands. I don't know, I have this like very vague memory of like Michelle and I didn't want to hold our headbands when we like went on the rides or it was like falling off. I found this small little business on Etsy and she hand makes these. Aren't they so cute? Look at all the glitter. Oh my goodness. Actually, it's not glitter that comes off, so don't worry. They're little hair clips that look like mini mouse ears. And so I thought, why not do my hair like this? And then I can just clip it on. And if throughout the day, Michelle and I are tired of our headbands, like our ears, you can just take it off and put it in the bag because it's so tiny and convenient. How cute is that, friends? Ah, I'm obsessed. Look. I'm gonna link this Etsy business. Hopefully it's still open. I got it a few weeks ago. How cute is this? I love it so much. And my favorite part is sometimes those headbands at Disneyland can be very heavy or cause tension right here. But now you got ears and you don't have to like think about anything and I can just take them off when I don't like it. Oh my gosh, I'm trying this for the first time. It is the Color Wow Style on Steroids Texture and Finishing Spray. My hair is kind of flat right now. Well, it's not super flat, but I wonder if this will make, oh, well, we don't want it too big. I do love big hair. Ooh, cute. I got these shorts on sale for like 13 bucks on the Forever 21 website. And they're so cute, you guys. They're kind of like boxer style. And it has Minnie Mouse in the front. Forever 21 has like a Disney collection or something. But everything was on sale and I loved it. I also got Michelle matching shorts if she wants to wear them today. I kind of wanted to prepare her because I know she's going to want to take cute pictures. And so I didn't want to stress her out. So I did get her the same bag, ears, shorts, and then a shirt. This top here is Pumi. It's this really popular brand here on Amazon. Honestly, you guys, it's like butter. It is so smooth. It feels very similar to Skims. I think just a tad bit bigger or thicker. I feel like Skims is a little bit more on the thin side, but this is really, really nice. And then I have my ears. And then for my bag, I'm going to carry this mini little red tote bag from 30 years. Oh, and then for my shoes, Michelle always makes fun of me for wearing these shoes, but they're so comfortable. I think they're meant for like seniors, but I don't care. It's so comfortable. I got them on Amazon. I'll go ahead and link them down below for you guys. I know they're not like the sexiest pair of shoes, but as you get older, you just prioritize comfort and not having feet that will want to fall off. And I think today we're going to be walking like 10,000 steps. Like it's a lot of walking. So I do not care. They are so cute. They come in multiple colors. I just ended up getting the white ones. You can wash these. And then I went the extra mile and I got these soles that you can put in and these feel like clouds. So if you're going to an amusement park or you're on vacation and you're going to do a lot of walking anywhere, I'll link the shoe and the padding for you guys because this is so good. I wore these in Vegas and they were amazing. First and foremost, we need this friends. Oh, my nails. I need to get my nails done next week before my birthday. This is the Bloom Sparkling Energy Drink Strawberry Watermelon. I'm just gonna put it in here so it stays cold and I can sip on it throughout the day. I did change my shorts because I realized I was screaming Disneyland. And so when she comes, I wanna keep it real chill, you know? Oh, I hate wearing lip product and getting my drinks dirty. Oh my God, it tastes like a Starburst, so good. Hi. Okay, bye. Oh man, you might need these today. Why? <gasps> no, we're not. Yeah? No, we're not. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> is she with me? me? Is she fucking with me? No. Is that camera on? <laughs> <laughs> is she with me? You bitch, stop. You're, no, you're
this with black shorts. You're so cute. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. You're so Disneyland. I would have never guessed. We're here. We've made it, friends. Oh my gosh. I love it, Mom. Everything's so cute. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. How much do you think they pay for storage? Wait, they don't even have a storage, huh? They just store it here somewhere. It's underground. Oh yeah. The lines aren't bad. The lines aren't bad. I came here to see this pumpkin. Okay, now we can go home. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so pretty. We've made it to the castle. We're going to get a cold brew. What is it? The Cocoa Puffs? The Cocoa Puffs cold brew? Yeah. Okay, we're entering Star Wars, Star Wars land. land. We'll get a puff. A cold puff. <laughs> I, think, I think we've Just walked like 6,000 miles already. dangerous but the top is really good <laughs> it's very refreshing Ooh. I thought the bottom would be bitter but it's not the top is so good it's so creamy mmm which pickle which pickle do you want Ooh, I don't know. a good pickle well, that's big pickle oh, that's a good pickle that big pickle I get this pickle okay Yeah, it's a good pickle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Very crunchy. Mm -hmm. Ten out of ten. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> My first time. So excited. Same. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's really good. Mm. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> the hair. <laughs> Did you have fun? Oh, I have fun. Did you have fun? <laughs> Come on. We ended up at our favorite place, Noak's Kitchen. It's gonna taste so good because it's fresh. And then this is where the sticky rice comes out. It's in here. Isn't this so beautiful? This is the papaya salad. We love Noak's Kitchen. We're home. I can't feel my leg. My right one's giving out. I don't have legs. <laughs> my feet? Where? That was so much fun though. That was. You're so excited. Thank you. It's a very big ball. <laughs> Happy 30th birthday! Thank Love you. you! Oh, the ball. Mom! The sticker oh, the ratio? Is I'm sorry, the sticker ratio? The bow is huge. Party C. Remember when we got it together? It's huge. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so cute, Mom. <gasps> Do you feel like you've run out of things to say in birthday cards? Oh my god. Because I feel the same, Mom. Oh my god, I was writing and I was like, she knows I love her. <laughs> she knows yeah. I love her. I will say, like, I love the card, but what I wrote in the card in here, I love. I love that my best friend has more than one card. <laughs> okay, okay. I might cry. I'm so nervous, Mom. Why are you going to cry? Don't make me nervous. No, I'm not going to cry. <gasps> Mom, are you crazy? Hold oh, on, no, I gotta close you again. <laughs> Mom, what is You're gonna love it, open it, open it. Don't make me cry, it's your birthday! <gasps> Mom, I can't even look at the box! Well, I know you'll love it, cause you will wear it every day. Mom, no, stop it! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I don't even, it's the perfect 30th birthday gift for you. You'll love it. Mom, I don't even wanna Hold on, I gotta open it so carefully. Do you want this box? Yeah. I'll have it. <laughs> this is the certification. <laughs> Mama. 
This is beautiful. You read it? Yeah. <laughs> what is happening? Mom, this is crazy. Okay, so if this doesn't work out, we can go to the boutique at South Coast and exchange or... Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my gosh. I just love the box. I can just <laughs> deal with the box. I'm not... Sorry, <laughs> I'm not in the tax bracket. Oh, you have to push it all the way. <gasps> it's beautiful. Okay, so it's for your middle finger. Okay. But I, if it's the wrong size, we can go back and get it. So please try it on and let me know. It's beautiful, Mom. Oh, it looks big. I think it'll be fine. Yeah? Nope, perfect. Oh. <gasps> it's so pretty. Mom, Mom. That's crazy, mom. Do you love it? Now your fingers are complete. Thank you. You're welcome. Happy 30th. Love you. Mom, that's crazy. And then this is the hold on to this certificate stuff. This is like the birth control. Yes, yes, birth yes. Control. Birth the birth control. certificate. To make it like legit. Yes. And then they gave you free perfume. And then I bought some brown pens I gave you two. They're brown Oh, pens. I'm like Cartier? <laughs> no. <laughs> So keep this safe, okay? Oh my god! Oh my god, it's so shiny, mom. It's so shiny. Oh my god, I'm in awe. Mine's all scratched up. I know. Like, like, yeah, wear that's true. Time. Oh, it looks so good with Oma and Appa's. I ring. know. What the heck? Mom, you pairing it is beautiful. Pair? What do you think? It's very pretty. Wow. I think you should pair it. That's crazy, mom. Thank <laughs> you so much. You're you don't want the box, I'll have it. <laughs> Honestly, you want the box, I'll keep the bag. <laughs> no, it's okay. Wow. Mom, how do I live? I don't know how to know how to live. You have the Cartier ring. That's crazy. Do you love? Glenn loves the box. She's actually oh, she's good. Absolutely. She's like, this is expensive. Expensive cardboard or what? Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. I own oh, Cartier. She's I, I own a Cartier. I own a Cartier. Wow, Where's it's it stunning. Okay, that card, yes, was also my favorite. Where did the card eat? This one. I know. I'm assuming you don't want this stuff. Here, Mom. Thank you. You want this now, right? This yes. Is... Yes, what do you mean? There, you have it. It's so pretty. And they gave you a bag in it, too. Did you smell the perfume? Not yet. Wow. It looks so pretty on you. It's so pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous, Mom. It's so pretty. Don't look at that finger. <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> It's gorgeous on it's you. It's so pretty. Hi, baby. Oh, my goodness. Love, dear. <laughs> I gotta go show it off to my love fans. Love, dear. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. I love it. And okay, Carlos. Let's watch Tell Me Lies. Okay. Yes. Here you go. Okay, now that Michelle got her biggest 30th birthday gift, more to come. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Mom, there's always more to come, honey. You deserve the world. <laughs> I want to show you guys everything that I got at Disneyland. Mom, are your ears in here? No, I just took them out. Okay, <gasps> Michelle got ears. Coming was about to rip them away Ooh. from me. They're not good. Kim got me ears. Kim got me the ears but, I've been wanting. You can't have them. Michelle wanted these custom Mickey ears or something. Okay, this is the first thing that, is this mine? Tommy wants Tigger really bad. Uh-oh. You can't have him. This is the first thing that I got from Disneyland. It's a zip up. Hello, how cool is this? I love the stitching on this one, you guys, because it's so heavy duty. And then the back says, Disneyland with embroidered stitching as well. So cute. This is what it looked like. This is what it looked like. I got an extra large because Michelle said it shrinks a little bit in the laundry room. I mean the laundry machine. No, not the jacket. Oh, no. I got an extra large anyways. I like my sweats like big and baggy. Oh, it's so cute. We're gonna cute. Go to, I love it. We're going to go to Disneyland, Disneyland again in December with the whole group for Christmas. So I think I'm going to wear this with sweats. I'm going in sweatpants. I am too. I agree. Because F that. And then I also got the same concept, but in a long sleeve. So cute. This is so cute, you guys. I love. And then Carlos got the same thing as well. So I actually got this for Maiden. Did you really? Yeah. He's gonna love it. I know, so Maiden can wear it with us in Shut December. Shut up, he's gonna love it, Mom. Carlos got a, a shirt, right? Yeah, Carlos got a shirt, a long sleeve. 
So I guess we're all matching from December. Everyone was wearing this at Disneyland today. Mm -hmm. I think it's the new thing. That's what I got at Disneyland. Oh my god, you guys. We just came upstairs from showing Oma everything that we got today. And Michelle said that I have to turn on my camera because she's forced by Oma to give me something right now. Forced. But it's not my birthday. Yes, I was waiting for your birthday, but I'm being forced. Oh my god, so. is this the big gift that you said? Yes. Wait, no, why can't you just wait till next week? Because Oma and Appa wanted me to give it to you. It's from Oma and Appa? Yes, it's from Oma and Appa. I'm nervous. It is not from me. Oh, it's from Oma and Appa? Yeah. You want me to cry? No. That's all I do, do know, is actually. cry. I don't know, actually. <sighs> okay, let's see it. Okay. Close your eyes, man. Close your eyes. Wait, Close can your you eyes. see me? Uh, no, I'll move. I'll okay. move it. I was going to write a whole thing for you. You still can. I know, that's true. My heart's beating so uh, fast. But I will just say it to you for them. It was not from me. The was... idea was given to me. The point... Oma doesn't want to give this to me right now. She's upstairs. No, she doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Oma and Appa got it. Um... <laughs> oh, hi, Oma! Yeah, Tori, Tori's birthday is a special. I know. They were like, sorry, we're a little late. No, we last year you last got year. me a Swarovski. Yeah, but... But 30th in general is very big. Okay. And so they wanted to give this to you. Oh my god, I can wait till next week. Majority of it, I know. They it's wanted. It's your birthday, no, though. No, no, no. But it was a combined birthday. That's why. Okay. So this I'm is for you from Oma and Appa. Okay. They could not find a matching one. So. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, they got us both diamond Oh my rings. god, mom. Yeah. <gasps> That's beautiful. Oh my god, shut up, that's so beautiful. They did not need to, last year they got me the Swarovski. So originally, they originally were like, thank you very much for taking care of us and my family. It means a lot to us. And oh my much. god, like, it's, that's what Milan is. <laughs> Your birthday, not mine. No, but seriously, mom, it oh was a thank god. you because thank you just for everything you do. You know, you take care of our family so well. You take care of Maiden. When you don't have to, you take care of Stop, you make me cry. No, seriously, Mom. Oh it's a big deal. It's a very big deal. And uh, this was all Manapa's idea, completely. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I love, how, I love how they're avoiding me right now. <laughs> they're such awkward parents. <laughs> they're so, they're they're so dumb. Yeah. You guys, they're two doors down. I wanted to save it. All Manapa really wanted me to give it to you. Dude, are we matching? It's not. They couldn't find the same. <gasps> Wait, I love. Yeah, it's too dark. Wait, but dance. that's more you and this is more me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to wear it all the time. Yeah, Appa went to LA with his friend who is a jeweler and sourced it. Yeah. Oh my god, where's my Duolingo? <laughs> I'm gonna do a Duolingo thank you to Oma and Appa. This is so nice. Let me see. It's so gorgeous. It's so I sparkly. I love it so much. It's so sparkly. I cannot see. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Come closer. Come closer, man. Wow. She had bright like a diamond. Yeah. Wow. Gorgeous. It's beautiful. Oh my god. Hello friends. It is officially Michelle's birthday. We actually spent the first half of today not vlogging, not doing much. We just spent some quality time together. We got lunch. We hung out. We watched Tell Me Lies on Hulu because we miss this week's episode because we knew we were gonna be together. So we watched that. We watched a little bit of The Golden Bachelor. We talked and talked and talked and we just went to pick up Michelle's cake at Sweet Traders. You guys know I love, love, love Sweet Traders. Huge shout out to Sweet Traders because they are the most amazing team ever. If you guys are looking for custom desserts for your parties, for your weddings, your baby showers, if you're looking for a custom cake, they do wedding cakes. They actually have a lot Lot of awards for that. But if you guys have been watching the vlogs, then you know I love, love Sweet Traders. We have been booking Sweet Traders for six years now for all of our cakes. They are amazing. They're located in Huntington Beach. So I always put their information at the bottom of every single birthday vlog because they're just that great. But yeah, we picked up the cake. We're gonna sing with Michelle's family in a little bit. I'm really excited about Michelle's birthday cake because I wanted to make this year's cake super special for her 30th. But yeah, really, really exciting. Her candles are so cute. I got her candles at Party City and they're adorable. So we're gonna sing. And then I made reservations at our favorite restaurant. We're going to Mastro's for dinner. That's kind of like a birthday tradition. Most years we just go to Mastro's or something for my birthday and Carlos's and Michelle's. We have reservations for there. And then we are just gonna head back to my house. I'm like doing my makeup real quick. We're gonna head back to my house because tomorrow we have day number three. 
of this three-day birthday celebration. We have reservations at another place that Carlos is actually really excited about. He really wanted to take Michelle here for her birthday, and so we both worked together to plan a little bit something. So we're gonna get all dressed up tomorrow and hang out there, and then we're gonna end the night going to IHOP. So we have a lot of things to look forward to. I'm gonna do my makeup real quick. I just put on a little bit of moisturizer. I'm gonna try this new foundation from One Size, which is Patrick Star's makeup brand. It's amazing, it's called One Size. It's sold at Sephora. I got this at Sephora. It's all the, it's the Turn Up The Base Full Beat Liquid Foundation. So I'm gonna try this. I also got the One Size Makeup Sponge, which I actually used yesterday and I really enjoyed it. And then I also brought my One Size Powder. I wore this yesterday before Disneyland and I felt like my makeup stayed on all day. This is called the One Size On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. So I got a mini size of this. Let's see how good this is. I'm in the color Light 30 NG. I feel like when I swatched this, this was actually like a perfect match. So we will see. And it's full coverage, you guys. Very, very full coverage. They say that you can use this wet or dry. So I'm just gonna use it dry and see how it is. I'm gonna dab this into my face. Oh my gosh, that color is so on point. Wow, friends, it's perfect. The real test is, will it cover my redness? Wow, it feels nice. That coverage is amazing. Actually really lightweight for a full coverage foundation. It doesn't feel heavy at all and it's blending really nicely. This is perfect, you guys. If we are the same color and foundations, we are light 30 neutral golden undertones because I feel like my undertones can be golden or neutral so I love that he made that available I was really excited when I saw that on the color ranges that he had because I was like oh my god golden neutral love that well wow. yeah definitely full coverage hides my redness blends really nicely and actually still feels like my skin okay I'm gonna do the rest of my face now Nothing will beat the Ula Hendrickson anymore. I know. It's too good. My makeup is done, friends. Ooh, let me show you guys what I'm wearing. This is what we're wearing to dinner. It's adorable. I love this little baby doll romper situation. It's from Princess Polly. This is what it looks like. It's actually a romper, not a dress, a full on romper. And it's so cute and comfortable. I actually got it from Princess Polly, but it was on the TikTok shop. Princess Polly is on the TikTok shop. And I noticed that shipping was faster. So I just bought it through TikTok. Plus supporting a creator because she was the one that showed it on her TikTok. But isn't this so cute? It scrunches up at the sleeve here. All of this is like super, Super stretchy. The back is also stretchy. It's really forgiving. I'm wearing a large. I will link this down below for you guys because I think it's pretty new. It also comes in red. The red is really cute, but the red is sold out. It might be back in stock. I don't know. The little bow is cute. I love this. And then I'm pairing it with my flats from Target. Don't these look like my Rothy's friends? But these were actually way cheaper than Rothy's and they're very comfortable. So I'm doing that. These are so cute. They also come in red, which I love the red. And then for my back, I'm carrying my little long champ bag here and then my cardigan is from Amazon And I thought I would bring a cardigan because we're gonna be right by the ocean tonight and it might get kind of cold So I brought a little cardigan if this romper had pockets. It would be amazing, but there's no pockets cute And then use my little bag my little flask and then for accessories, I always wear my K necklace that Michelle got us. No earrings tonight. My hair is up. And then my engagement ring and my wedding band. And then, oh man, I forgot me a ring. Look at the way it sparkles. This is gonna be my new accessory that I wear all the time. But this is my outfit. Close your eyes. Oh. Do not open until I say open. Okay. Maiden, you got a lighter? Me? Oh. 
No. Give her the kitchen one. Oh my God, does it have fairies on it? <laughs> <laughs> she said the candles match the cake, so I'm like, pink. Oh, last year was in and out. I forgot. That was a fun cake. Do we leave all the lights on? Yeah, all the lights on. No, like, do we turn the lights off? Mom, are these one of those popping? No. no. Oh. I don't trust those things. Happy birthday to you. Oh my gosh! Happy birthday, dear Michelle. Happy birthday to you. Yay! It's so pretty. It's the Kardashian cake. <laughs> Hi. Come here. Come here. Okay, let's take pictures like every year. It's stunning. It's, it's so a Kardashian big. cake. I love the details. Almost said it's too too pretty to eat. Yeah. And I knew it. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's so pretty. I just know it tastes good. Oh yeah. I don't doubt a sweet traders ever. Yay. I'll go from here. Happy 30th. Wow. Oof. Ooh. Oh, it's gorgeous. Ooh. I was gonna get the long stem candles like them, but the oh. three zero was too cute. No, I love the three zero. Wow. Do we have a plate? You go chop she saw the tema? I was gonna eat this all week with her coffee. No, seriously though. Okay, made in once one. <gasps> Ooh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> there was no other landing. <laughs> it's your birthday. You gotta taste it first. Mm. They never go wrong. So good. Mmm, so my god. We're here at dinner. There we go. did not pick up the camera for 48 hours. Michelle did not either. We spent so much quality time together and I am so, so grateful. I honestly hope she had the best birthday. I thought it was so much fun. It was a three-day thing. <laughs> 
a three-day birthday festival basically and we dedicated the last day of it to a rotting day if you guys have never had a rotting day it is probably one of our favorite things to do michelle and i dedicate one day a month where actually one or two where we just rot we don't talk about work we don't do anything work related we don't pick up the camera we're not on social media sometimes we don't even leave the house we just turn on our favorite shows our favorite movie we eat our favorite foods we cook we order in we hang out with the dogs we just chill in the house and it's so much fun i think it's really important to have those days because it's a good you know kind of day to hit the reset button and it's also really good for like your mental health and it's a good restart button michelle just left and i am actually going to head to bed because i am pooped we were talking about it earlier and we both are just so freaking pooped you guys because as homebodies you don't leave the house often and my social battery is so fried right now like i love love hanging out with michelle and to be honest whenever i'm with michelle my social battery doesn't like have a timeout or anything but i think that we both love being at home so much and because we're so type a we love having our schedules the the fact that we have been just out and about and doing so many things the last few days, we were both just so pooped. Regardless, it was so much fun, you guys. I think this is probably my second favorite birthday of Michelle's. I think my favorite birthday for Michelle will always be the one in 2021 when we flew out her cousin from New York to surprise her. I think that birthday will always be my favorite, but I would say this is like my second favorite birthday. We had so much fun. She loved her gifts. She loved everything about it and honestly that's like the important part is that I hope you know 10 years from now she looks back and will always remember her 30th birthday and that's really important to me that she was surrounded by everyone who loved her and was happy and is happy. So hoping that she enters a new decade with a positive perspective and she just has so many amazing things in store for her. And I'm really, really excited for Michelle. I think that her 30s are gonna be so amazing. I am going to wrap it up, you guys. I'm pooped, I don't know if you can tell. But I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and wish Michelle a happy birthday. Subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. Oh, also another thing. We met so many of you guys at Disneyland. I did not get a chance to talk about that. If we got a chance to meet at Disneyland, please leave a comment down below. It was so amazing to meet you guys. I think we probably met 15 subscribers at Disneyland. It was crazy. We met a bunch of subscribers when we were like walking by and people were like in line. People were screaming our names across the like the walkway and we took pictures with everybody. It was so amazing to meet you guys in person. Like I can't explain the excitement I feel whenever I meet people in person because it's like I feel like I do talk to a camera pretty much. Well I do most of the time and it's so nice to put like real faces to these wonderful comments and all of the wonderful support Support. And so I just want to say if we got a chance to meet at Disneyland, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to say hi to us. It was amazing to meet you in person. I loved every single one of you who I got to meet. Thank you, thank you, thank you for honestly making our day so special. Like Michelle and I were talking about it literally all night, how it was so amazing to meet you guys. And everybody took pictures and it was just, there was so much love in the air. Like every time I meet a subscriber in person, I am instantly reminded even more like why I have the best job in the world like this doesn't even feel like a job I love what I do and it's just like it's so amazing to know that like so many people care about Michelle and I and Carlos and our dogs and they're amazing people out there and they're so kind and so nice and full of love because sometimes the internet can be a show and it can be a really mean dark place so to know that in person there are just so many amazing people it's a nice reminder that there's still a lot of kindness in the world but anyways i love what i love meeting you guys hopefully in the future we can do some meeting greets but it was just ah it's just amazing and i will never get used to meeting my subscribers in person by the way i will never ever ever get used to it because i feel like i'm such a normal person like i just kind of share my daily life i'll never get used to kind of being stopped in in public and i don't know it, it's it's kind of hard to explain but i'll never get used to being stopped in public like i i always remember and i always think about my subscribers i think sometimes i forget that you know i do have this amazing privilege to be you know aired in your 
homes. And thank you so much for turning on my vlogs for your kids or your dogs or your family and you know, the mukbangs and everything. So it means a lot. I love you guys. Sorry, this was such a long outro. I'll see you in the next one.